what try because they before they come to the school before they're educated before they learn sign language they don't have the concept of tribes they don't have the concept of the different languages and all so once they understand all their different tribes i am from this tribe you are from that tribe it becomes something so amazing to them that when a new person comes they'll first ask you what tribe you are so this is something very important please learn it and um, again, we're going to start with pointing at the person new. Tribe is going to be T in both hands. And uh, have you learned it already? Yes. Okay. So from inside to the outside. Yeah. Like this. We don't have to really go like big, small one is also okay. It's not up and down, it's inside to outside. Yes, tribe. So you. Try what or what or which? Yes, you try what? That's the very casual form of asking them. And you can say me, try, and you tell your try. Uh, you can, if you forget, you can either just spell it out again, or if you are ow, it's ow, a, and o. So for the owl people, if there are any owl people, if it is owl, yes, any angamis, any, by any chance, any yeah. So this is A and G, A and G, that's angami, yes. And if you make it like this, it's a, it's a non-word, it doesn't make sense. They'll be like, what, what, what is that? So G, remember to make form your G nicely. A and G. I'm going to A. And the thumb continues to stay here. It's just, yes. Angami. So, ao, angami. Uh, what other? You can just tell out your own tribes and I will tell you. Rengma is R. And here. Remember, R, your, it's like this. Uh, not outwards, inwards. <coughs> yes. R. Remember to make your R really, uh, really R. <laughs> not, not like this. Again, this becomes like edge or this or this becomes a little uh, illegible. So make your R form it properly and then this. Yes. Uh, not, not salute, but yeah. Any other try? Sumi? Sumi. So I think you can see that almost all the tribes are happening up here. Yeah. So just remember the the, the starting alphabet of your um, tribe and Sumi. Because Angami and Ao are both A. So we are using the next letter. A O and A G. To make it uh, simpler. Yes. So if you want to say Lota, any guesses? <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is Lotta. <laughs> so you're getting the gist of how uh, all this the sign language vocabulary comes about. Any other try? I miss any of your any one of your tribes? Yes. Yes. Again, any guesses? Remember, uh, <laughs> Pakistan, China, they're all a little similar in sign. So. Keeping that in mind, how do you think Chakasam would be? <laughs> so this is China, we use this for China. So we cannot have China and Chakasam. It will create confusion. So how do you think we have uh, made the sign for Chakasam? If you look back into Ao, Angami, that's the easiest example. <laughs> The H would make sense, but we use C and K. Check it out. C and K. Yes. Check it out. Any other tribe you want me to? Zilla. Oh. <laughs> okay, Chang and Zilla. Uh, Zilla is going to be Z and L. And for Chang, we spell it out. 
See, and, 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 <laughs> yes, so Chang, we are still spelling it out, C-H-A-N-G. When we come with a, come up with a sign, we will definitely be um, popularizing that as well. <laughs> but for now, we are using the, again, because it's, of course, not as short as our, but <laughs> we are still spelling that out. Um, so that is the number four. You tried what? And you say me tried Chao, Dota, Angami, and Zelia, and Chakisa. So um, is that okay to one, two, three, four? That is four, two, one, two, three, four. This is after the K. No, because if we do only K, it becomes Korea. <laughs> we can't get Korean here, so. Konyak, we use K and Y. Konyak. Konyak. But if some, for Korea, some people use K like this, some people use K. So either one, we use this or this. So again, that can lead to some confusion. So Konyak is this. <laughs> 